Hey, what's up everyone? It's Be The Installer. I have the uh, TCL 98 inch XL, I think it's the R754 here, and I wanted to bring a couple friends over to check it out and give their impressions of this. So I'm gonna go grab a couple buddies and we'll check this TV out. What's up, dude? Hey, what's going on, man? Come on in, man. Doing? Come check this TV out. All right. Oh my God. What's up, guys? Come on over. Check this sucker out. Hey, what's going on, B? What's, what's up? up B? What's up? What's up? Good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. All right. So I got my man Jolster 4K right here, and we got Tech Steve. Both these guys are superstar YouTubers, so definitely check their channels out. Last time we've all been together, I think, was at CES 2022. Yeah, so It's been about six months. It's been about six months, yeah. yeah. How things been going for you since then? It's been busy. I've been doing like a lot of reviews from projectors, TVs, and now I'm introducing e-bikes. But I'm really excited to see the yeah. big screen TV. I it's mean, awesome. I've seen projectors, 100 inch, but a TV is just a completely different. Yeah, what about been, you? I've been busy, man, just making tutorial videos. I've been just working really hard to make sure I get good content out there. I've been following you guys yeah, on, man. on Likewise. the team, so yeah. You I'm, said you can't handle the big TV. I mean, it's like you're by yourself. It's hard to get these big TVs yeah. in a space like this, isn't Dude, it? Yeah, people I mean, always ask me, why am I using these small TVs? I'm like, because I can lift it. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be honest. Thank you, TCL, for hooking this TV up and getting us the opportunity to look at it. But you know, these TVs are expensive too. This TV is $8,000, yes. but it's like for $8,000, a hundred inch, you have to really start thinking about things you can actually buy. Like, you know, you're talking about like uh, UST. Yeah. So you got ultra short throws or you got maybe this sort of TV or you just downsize, you know, 75, 65, you go down the list and things change. So you, you do a lot of 65 and 55s, right? Just yeah, really you know. 43, 50. And then I've, every once in a while I do 75, 65. Yeah. So there's anything I, you know, can lift a lot of times. So first of all, what size is that? That's an 83 inch 83 A90J. Inch. Wow. So I kind of consider that like the ultimate <laughs> reference monitor. I mean, we've, we've had the C1 in here, the C2 in 83 inch. We've had the 85 inch QN90A, the QN90B, and you know, I hope to get a lot more in here to compare against it. It's just, a, it's a good TV to compare it. You know, obviously, Absolutely. sometimes QLED TVs will, you know, outshine it a bit, but then the contrast looks better. Sometimes it's good to see what the new OLED TVs can do against one that's now. It's almost a year old, but man, it's a great TV, and I, I love it. But as you can see in this room, I mean, gosh, you could put like a 300-inch TV in this room. It this, is a huge this wall room. This is ridiculous. Dude, this you have so much room. Yeah, you it's a, so it's it's room. great for doing the YouTube videos, but then for making your big TV look big, not so good. <laughs> like, no. I mean, look, it looks like a tic tac on the wall. I thought wall, that was man. a 65-inch when I, I walked in here. I'm like, that's an 83-inch. So when you throw like a 65-inch <laughs> in here, it's yeah. like it's a TV like this. Be like <laughs> no, seriously, really. you need a projector. Like that's the thing about projectors that I like that you can go from 80 inches to 150 yeah. and you can just cover almost this whole. The scale, it's just scale, like, yeah, yeah. at some point it's like size, size does trump quality yeah. when you go like over 10 inch bigger. Like if oh, you yeah, go yeah. 65 to a 75 inch and the same thing for 85, now you got a 98 inch TV here and it's like, okay, a lot of TVs that are 85 inch are in this price range. So like to get the extra 15 inches of size, you know, in this angle, I think this is gonna be a winner for a lot of people because it's the only 98 inch TV under $10,000. Wow. The other wow. ones are the QN90A, which is 15 grand, the Sony wow. X92J, which is like 20 grand or something like that, 15 right. grand. And then you have like things like the LG G2 coming out in 97 inch, and that's gonna be like 25 grand. $25,000. $25,000 OLED. So what do you think? Should we check the 98 inch out and then see how it looks against the A90J? Yeah, let's do this. All Absolutely. Right. So let's take a listen to this audio oh, on, the, sorry, on the TCL. Um, you know, it's probably, I don't know if you notice this, but I don't feel like the sound's coming towards me. It's yeah. like behind you or something. Yeah. Well, and, I know it's got, I think it, yeah, so it's got some downward firing. And then, like, I don't really feel like a lot of bass from that. Like, I don't know what this it, is. But it has it's a subwoofer back here, though. Yeah, but is that a sub, really? Or is that just like a four-inch <laughs> driver, you know? Like, I'm not yeah. impressed with audio. You definitely got to have a sound bar. Yeah. Maybe it's just because it's open back there. It is open like that. I, I think if it was up against the wall, I guess the sound has nowhere but to come at us then, you know what I mean? Right. Like it's against the wall. I was going to leave it against the wall, but it was like, you know, it's hard to see at that angle. But here's the thing. I guess if you're gonna buy an $8,000 TV, it's like, you could just go get, I mean, what would you need? Like a $150 like Anki or like a Vizio soundbar or something to make it sound better than this? But you, you, know, gotta, you gotta think about this for a second. Eight grand, eight grand when you think you get all the bells and whistles. Yeah. 
I think I would want well, all the bells and whistles. That OD zero. Remember the one, the OD zero TCL they had at uh, CES. Mm -hmm. It had like a real sub in the back, and it had like speakers on the side, and it was like it had like the stand under it. Yeah. It was like the sm I don't think it was ninety eight. I think it was like eighty five, or maybe it was even smaller. But yeah, that OD zero TV. It's got like the whole thing. It's got like a big old sub on the back. It's got two speakers on the side and. I know in an OLED you have the uh, you have the vibrating speakers and they sound a lot better, but mm -hmm. I don't think you can really do that with an LED. You know, they used to have like a perimeter around it with speakers, and I guess I don't know. Was it not popular? People are like, it's ugly to have big speakers. But the, you know, we're talking about TVs now. The, I think the biggest thing is like you can put a bigger soundbar underneath that one, which is good. Yeah, but yeah, yeah well, it's good. Like honestly, I. I did listen to the audio, but it's good to have your opinion on that because, like, you know. What were you thinking when you first heard it? Well, I'm just like, eh, it's a T. Yeah, they didn't <laughs> spend any time and effort putting it. In. I mean, they. I mean, they made a deal with Ankyo to get yeah. that speaker on the back, but it, unfortunately, for how good I think this TV is so far, the speakers aren't great for how great it is. So, you gotta get a soundbar for sure. Freaking huge, man. Yeah. Holy. So, mackerel. so here's my initial thoughts, and I want you guys to give yours. But oh, you can see like, when you put like a Starfield test on this or something. It's the, the contrast isn't perfect, of course, like you can yeah. see, but there's not a lot of bloom. It's not very aggressive. Like it doesn't aggressively try to like, you know, light up around logos and, and, uh, and um, subtitles. Yeah, subtitles. So this is a 4K or 8K? This is a 4K. It only has like 200 dimming zones, but it's, it's fairly bright. And honestly, like if you could get this for like five grand or something, six grand, it's eight grand right now. But like, I mean. You would think this would be an 8K though, right? Yeah, yeah that's they, they have an 8K. 8K, but I mean... What is that, 4K too? That's that's the uh, A90J, the 83-inch A90J. Oh, okay, so that's the older So that one. is, you know, that is a reference monitor right there, more or less. Is this a Spears and Munsell? Uh-huh. So I think I have this disc upstairs, but I just never pulled it out yet. Oh, that's cool. I like that. We can mess with the um, motion, yeah. too, if we need to. I never figured this out about Sony. Watch right here, the auto -fix. Oh, yeah, the... Oh, shoot. That's like because the, it's got motion interpolation, so the com it's trying to compute what it should do as this is moving. And this is intentionally made to like, like screw it up. And it's yeah. definitely screwing it up. You can see artifacting, yeah. you know. And on this one, you can't, but then what, well, what do you prefer? This is very juddery. Oh, so, is, you know, the judder and stutter, we have so to like- So there's no artifacts on this one, but it's very But juddery. like, let's go ahead and increase the motion interpolation. Would you want me to do that? Yeah, to yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. let's check Try it out. See how so, it whoops. You know, personally, I, I don't really care. I, I don't mind, I actually like motion interpolation. My wife does it too. I just don't like the stuttering yeah. of the 24p yeah. on the movies. I, I prefer like, that. So here is like minimal, like, or this is middle of the road. Oh, so that, now that's, we're like- that, That's smooth. That's, that's smooth. Yeah, good. It's better. It's actually good. I like a little bit more, just, I, I don't like to see the judder and stutter, like it drives me nuts. I can deal with more artifacts and have like more smooth motion. Wait, is this, it that smooth in comparison? Well, it, that, see this, like the middle line, the second line down, I feel like that's smoother and this is a little bit more like skipping. But I think I could be fine with either of these. Oh yeah, I can see it now. I was really you know, on top of it. Man, those artifacts are insane. This so, is not bad though. Does that TV has any motion? Turn on or yeah, not? that's probably at set number two. It's probably at two. Um, cool. So you have some custom picture profile. Did you calibrate a little bit? This is calibrated. This is everything. This is all done here. This has got um, motion. It's got motion flow set at two, and then it's got the cinema motion at two. So if we could turn it off, like let's turn just it off turn and it see off. what happens. There. So that's no motion. Oh, there it is. So, yeah. Wow. So I mean, I don't think it's. I mean, I think people people that don't mind the stutter, the judder, that can yeah. deal with that. But I mean, that's creator intent kind and of All the artifacts went away too. Yeah, so here's another one. Mm -hmm. I believe that with, here, let's, let's turn it all off. But I think with everything off, he still said that there is minimal motion interpolation on it still. So Beautiful. let's go ahead and just flick it. So there you go. Okay, so this both TVs with the I motion mean, interpretation. Yeah, honestly, I'd probably prefer that one. I don't know. It's so everything tough. everything is off, right? Yeah. I, I don't know, I can't see the TV. Yeah, yeah, step back. You guys I feel like a, too big. I feel like I'm getting seasick. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I don't like all this stuff sometimes, because it's yeah. like... Yeah, I think it's less on the TCL. It kind of looks less. I don't know. There's a little bit of blooming around, you know, like, really, it's as it goes. But to be honest, again, I don't know if you guys notice this, but, like, for something that's moving that fast and a real black screen with, like, an item, like, it's not... The blooming is a lot better than I thought it would be. Yeah. And, like, something that was... They kind of told me that this was similar to the 6 Series... Oh, okay. I feel like this is outperforming the 6 Series. So Anything we've put on this so far 
Dumb. I've even in the dark, I've been like, it's pretty impressive, man. It, it's not bad. Did you find and out this is a VA panel? Or I believe it's a, I think it's a VA, yeah. I think okay. it's a VA. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I haven't known TCL. I also really noticed that, is it, is it matte finish? Or, because it's not fully glossy, it's right? Not, it's, not a, it's not great with reflections. Yeah, I know. It's not it's, great with reflections. But again, that's similar to some of the other Although ones. this is fully glossy, I still prefer Oh, it's this. far better. Yeah. It's far better. I, just, I mean, like, if you had to like, talk about ratings.com and they're, like, anti-reflectivity, like, th these get, like, 9.3s out of 10. Oh. Where, yeah, like, wow. a Samsung gets, like, a 9.5 out of 10, right? It's the fact that they're not very bright that sometimes lets reflection be seen more. Like he said, it's glossy. This over here would probably only get, like, a 7 out of 10 for mm. how its anti-reflective properties are. Because, as you can see, like, you can see everything. On that yeah, one, it's, it's much more muted, you know. It's definitely a lot more, like, has this gray kind of look to it. Oh, yeah. Here's a test that I didn't think about. This is a really, like, a good Starfield test. Wow. Where, you know, you... Well, you I, I'm losing it. I can't even see the yeah. star field right now. I can't even see it. Anything. Yeah. You definitely so, tell the OLED's kicking that's, in. Oh, me, there it is, but I can't no, see you it. No, you can't see it very good. This, this is definitely a good stress test. Let's leave it on. Oh, I was like, where is anything? There's nothing it's, on there It's now. a cycle. <laughs> yeah, so that there, when we were watching, um, we were watching some HDR footage, mm -hmm. and it had some stars. It kind of looked like it was the Death Star or something that was being displayed on here. It looks pretty good on this on this TV, but no, you, you can't. I mean, that's not even close. I, mean, I can <laughs> see it, but the, the, the reflection, the light reflection is so bad, I, I can't see anything. Yeah, it's definitely tough. So you're going to have to consider your surroundings, I guess, because so, if you're watching like dark stuff and you're in a bright, I mean, this, that thing's pretty bright. We got yeah. some light coming in here, but this is probably typical of like a room. You could say like this is a, yeah, a this pretty is about, standard room. All right, let's, uh, let's try a couple of things here. Um, look at this one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. The fact you get, that it's... Oh, wait. See every tiny dot here. Yeah, the fact that this is like... Uh, it's probably helping it a bit that they're not moving, but you can see. Definitely a QLED OLED situation here. Yes. Uh, oh, where, this is trippy, man. <laughs> yeah. Because if I move my eyes, it's like... Whoosh. This is supposed to be viewing angles. I know that's going to be good. Oh yeah, the it. viewing angles fall off. Color yeah, falls that's off. Yeah, because panel is I mean, I'm standing careful. right here and I can, you know, the OLED looks amazing. That's why OLED is so difficult to beat, you know? Just like, okay, it's not the brightest in the world, but from angles, from, you know, if, you're, if you have light control in your room, it's like, man, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks just really good. We also have this in movie mode. That's in custom. This is movie mode. This can oh. get brighter if I put it in like a standard. Put it in standard, see yeah. how, it, how it works. So smart HDR is supposed to be what we want for SDR, he said. Oh, okay. So and it I, provides you know, powerful, vivid picture. But like sports, you know, a little darker. But let's go ahead and just put it in the smart HDR. This is supposed to be like kind of where, let's go ahead and just make sure the color. So I want it to look somewhat like there's a normal. Let's just, since that's warm, let's just make it a little warmer. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe negative two, negative three. One thing I always notice here, if you look at this, uh, I always look at this as like a panel test to see if everything's aligned. You see on one side on the Sony, you can see the line going down. But on this other side, it's gone. See right here? That is weird. So I don't know if it's adjustment in the PS5. Or, or it could, could it be, be like uh, the pixel shift? Could be the pixel shift too. You know, sometimes they shift it just a couple to the right and or left. And it's happening on the bottom too. See right here on the yeah, bottom? Yeah, that is weird. And, but there's a lot more room left. Yeah. Oh, I guess there isn't because there's a little bit of bezel there. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. If you look at any LG television, Thunder, <laughs> Nano Cell, the QNEDs, or even the OLED, every single one you can't see the borders at all. I pointed that out one time and I was like, you know what? This is kind of interesting. I feel like I'm losing like a little bit of the picture somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing here on the Sony. And if you look right there on the TCL, the same thing's happening. Oh, yeah. You, just... you can't see any of them. The top one, a little bit. Now, let's see if we go back into the PS5 menu. Okay, so. Now we have it. Yeah, look, pretty much lined up on both TVs. So it's not the PlayStation. Oh. <laughs> this is not fair, Brandon, because we're seeing like these things in both TVs that you wouldn't notice unless you had them side by oh, side. Oh yeah, that's definite. But it's still pretty impressive to see like just a typical OLED, you yeah. know, be able to perform very bright, very colorful. And this is kind of like, a, you see the. Oh yeah, the DSC. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this, Joe, sir? Come over here and see. I've, I've seen some spots mostly, like around it. I mean, it's not bad, though. 
Yeah. What a, such a big screen. Because like I, I had two Samsungs in here. This has less DSC than most Samsungs that I've reviewed. Absolutely. It's pretty impressive actually overall. Like when I got this TV, okay, so I had the 85 inch XL. Mm -hmm. I tried to have it in a room about, you know, a fourth of this size and it was so big and it was mm -hmm. 85 inch was very large. I had to take this TV out, put that one in. I didn't really get an opportunity to compare it. But even when I had it in there, the dimming zones were like, you know, big squares. And when stuff moved around, I saw those squares moving. Oh, wow. This, I don't really see that, which is, it's, it's, it's interesting. I thought there'd be a lot more blooming. And then, yeah, the brightness and all that, I'm like, this TV's pretty good. Like, yeah, yeah look I've at that seen, right there. <laughs> I've seen the 98 inch QN90A. And there's no way it's two times as good because it's twice the cost. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So it's bright. Looks nice. You know, but like, don't you, you know how people are? Like, you, uh, Steve, you do some of the more like reasonably priced TVs, and so does Joe, sir. Mm -hmm. This is still better than like 95% of TVs. You know, I think, like, yeah. It's so, actually now, you know, when she, that's the thing about you can do all these tests, like, you know, I'm using all these demo discs. You can do all that stuff, and I just do it to show people like the flaws. Yeah. But when you actually just put content on it, I don't see any blue or red. It seems like all that goes away. Yeah. You know, for the most part. Like this gets this like wrecks some TVs. Like this scene. Yeah. Like you, even like and, and here's the thing, you know I'm not just trying to fanboy it for TCL. Like I think this TV's pretty good. Like I, I like a lot of Sony TVs, but when we watch like uh, like the Sony X90J last year, mm -hmm. it had significant blooming around it still. You know, and then the screen uniformity when it was black. And it went from like a picture like this and it went to black. You'd have like little lights kind of disappearing in weird ways. I just have to say like overall, you know, there's a tiny little bit of blooming around there. But that's not bad for a QLED TV. Any no, QLED TV, no. let alone a TCL that's supposed to be like, like a six this, series. And the, the size too. Like and then, yeah, I mean the size, I think the size plays a factor because, you know, we, we, th we could throw a 60, we could throw a 65 inch Sony. I have the X90K over there. Mm -hmm. And we'd be like, okay, probably the X90K would look the worst because it's the smallest. You know? <laughs> I would think it looked better though. I know, but because like, uh, the same amount of pixels in the smallest. Frame. I know, but I, I don't feel like <laughs> I don't feel like the, this content that we're watching and they most both content. Really good, like I don't think it like loses resolution. I, I mean, I don't, yeah. I think it still looks good. And the case in point, we had I had a 65 inch QN900B. And I didn't find it very advantageous for much content. Like we watched some 8K YouTube stuff uh -huh. and it looked really, really sharp. But anything else we watched, it was like, okay, here's another. Like I couldn't pick that out of a lineup from the QN90B. I couldn't, I couldn't pick the 8K, 4K, except for the fact that the 8K was like, you know, it was like got the cool silver bezel and it had the one connect box. <laughs> Here, I just think, I have a lot of friends that watch sports. I have a lot of friends that, you know, just watching movies and all that. This TV is better than 95% of TVs out there. So if you're going to buy like a, a 98 inch TV, you're going like, okay, the QN90A or the 100 inch Sony or this, when those are both over 15 grand and this is eight grand. I mean like- Such a good value. We were like, oh, this is a budget one. Budget, eight grand I mean, is eight like grand <laughs> budget. But I mean like, it would be hard for me to like, be like legitimately, if, if you're in between the 15 and eight grand, the 15 is too much. I couldn't push people toward the fifteen thousand dollar TV, knowing yeah. that this one's this good. Be yeah. like, this Why pretty is good. Price? So, but I mean, like, yeah, and look at the motion. I, I think the motion looks better on this. Is the motion still turned off in both? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, now it's on. So there you go. Yeah, they're on the same playing field. Now, I mean, look at those blues. That sky comparison is. Yeah, I mean, so this is the thing. Like before, when we were looking at other content, it looked like that was bright. Like gaming footage, that looked a little brighter. Yeah. Look at this, Joel. So you're missing some like way brighter stuff. But you can see, like, look at the color difference now. Yeah. There you got it. No. Should we put a movie on? Yeah. Yeah, let's put some content. I'm just gonna plug it into the yeah. Apple TV. Man, look at that difference. That picture, holy macro. Well, actually, you know what? It's it's not that bad on the TCL, but when in this angle. You know, you just get that. Oh yeah, come on over here, man. You can sit down over here. Get the, get the prime spot. I already know what this looks like, dude. You can sit over here. Yeah, the angle is important. So I mean, like, if you're sitting. If you're planning on... Yeah, right here looks so much better. If you're putting this move, you know, if this is going to be a wide, like, area like this, like, if you put it on the wall and you had, like, seats over there, over here, in, in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it's something to think about. That, you know, OLEDs, 
And even the QD OLEDs, man, those can be seen even better from off angle. We the, remember the Samsung S95B? You could yeah. be like right on the end of it and it kept all of its color. Cause I think that the pixels are kind of like triangular based. So right. like the color is right on the end of it where this has got like a filter and it's like a little bit like further back and that's even further back. Overall on the HDR, we've looked at these on a few different movies. Mm -hmm. And I think it kind of depends on what you're watching and where you're watching it from. Because I think at first, Joel, sure, you said when you were sitting in this chair over here, the TCL didn't look that great. But what do you, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, I know the viewing angles is definitely, this is a VA panel, right? Yeah. yeah. So the viewing angles definitely is just, uh, it takes a, takes a kick out of the colors. They just look a little washed out. From the angle. Co from the angle. But once I'm seeing right here in front of it, it looks very close to the OLED. Yeah, and I think in some instances, like full screen, it looks a little brighter even. Yeah. But you know, the off angle isn't as good. And also, we had talked about the reflections too, because once you're at this angle, you can see a lot of light from the side as well. <clears throat> so, so it's more of like, if you're gonna get this TV, you know, I, a lot of people have, you know, rooms that are long. Some right. people have rooms that are wide. And if you're gonna have this TV, it's so big that it might look okay in a room that's wide. But if you have extreme viewing angles, like you're, you know, like this couch and then another couch, it's gonna to be tough to like see the exact same from all the angles, whereas an OLED, you know, you can be over here and it still looks pretty darn good. Yeah, the interesting thing is that uh, a lot of people on my channel, they always comment that VA is the best, you know, but OLED, I think for viewing angles is fantastic. And IPS, even though it has, you know, like the blooming issues that I've seen from time to time in comparison to VA, the viewing angles are much better, especially in a room like this. I think it definitely would play out a lot better, but, uh, Looking at these two TVs right now, I really like the contrast on that, but at the same time, if you look at the value, yeah. this one actually looks fantastic. <laughs> the SDR looks really good because you know you can't get really good SDR out of a TV on an OLED. It's just tougher for it to be really bright. Mm -hmm. And that's like, you're watching your typical cable or sports or whatever, it's like, dang, that's bright. Yes. You get the HDR like this, it's a little more even, and maybe there's an advantage here to the OLED in a, you know, in a dimly lit room. But then the size, like you said, just being able to have something that looks so much, it's probably like 40% bigger surface area if you think yeah, about it. absolutely. It's and so humongous. that can go a long way because I think this is gonna replace this in this room for me because <laughs> you know, I was expecting to put a bigger TV here. So now I have that opportunity. Well, so you, can, you can definitely use this one now because <laughs> yeah, absolutely. it'll match even better right here with the, this uh, huge wall that you have here. Yeah, and we talked about the speakers earlier. Definitely, you know, I have this system here, the Sony uh, HTA9 system that I think will sound pretty good with this. I also have a sound bar. We could put that underneath this because there's some room for it, yeah, which is absolutely. cool. Cool. Well, uh, what do you think, Jolster? Do you want to get into some gaming and see what you think about that? Yeah, let's come do on, it. Jolster. Let's That's do it. cool. <clears throat> All right, so we got Jolster here playing a little Miles Morales. What do you think so far? Well, so far that I can see both TVs here, obviously the OLED has better black levels, mm -hmm. but I don't know, my attention is dragged to the brightness of the TCL. Do you think it's the size and the brightness probably? It, it is, it is both. It is the size, the brightness, they both react very fast. But you see, I, I also like the uh, the highlights on the OLED. Yeah. You see, even though it's darker, but the highlights, they look much, much better. One of the things that I've noticed when, I don't game a lot, but what I've noticed is that for me personally, I wanna see as much detail as possible when I'm gaming. Absolutely. You know, you can't really see a lot of detail in his like clothes as he's swinging around in here where I feel like you can see a little bit more here. I guess it depends on where they're at. Yeah, this is a pretty dark, a dark uh, scene too. Yeah, it's a pretty dark scene, but that's the thing is like, there are so many games that are like this. And then, so obviously you wanna see more details even uh, Absolutely. at night. So um, I don't know, it just, uh, I get the brightness is just, uh, it's more attractive to me, yeah. to my eyes. And of course, I think the size is huge because it's <laughs> the like- The size is it's nice, but you see like this scene right here, I feel like uh, the contrast in the black levels, it just looks so much better on the on the OLED, but the colors look nicer yeah. here. I keep noticing, I keep noticing the color and the brightness. Yeah, the color. I see what you're talking about sitting over here. I can see like the- The shifting color the, shifting. Yeah, it just don't seem as bright over here. Yeah. And it, it looks oh, a little more okay. orange. So this oh, is definitely... Okay. There's a lot of fall off over there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Steve's got the bad spot. You come over yeah. here, man, switch with me. I've already seen this TV, and as you can tell, I'm, it's I'm night probably day, yeah. kind of sold. It, it changes, huh? It really does. I mean, literally, it went from orange to now looking correct. That viewing angle is huge, and I don't think... I think people take it for granted how, how much that can really change your experience yeah, watching television. 
But then I, I you know, I'm again, we're, we're sitting here looking at this from a reviewer's perspective, mm -hmm. but I feel like if I put this in, in, in anyone's house that I know, they'd love it. They would. Absolutely. Love it. And you know, like maybe they'd be at a harsher angle sometimes, but for the most part, people are trying to watch their TV straight on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. especially a 98 inch TV. I definitely feel like this TV compared to the 85 inch XL that I had, I think it was like the 745 uh -huh. last year. I felt like that TV had more noticeable blooming, even though it was smaller. This uh, at 98 inch with like 200 dimming zones, I, I don't feel like I noticed any blooming in this really when I'm watching content or even when you were running those tests, it's pretty yeah. difficult. That was, I was very impressed when I was running those tests that it, it definitely didn't show any type of blooming that stood out or anything like that. Cause some TVs you can definitely like, wow, I don't know how I'm going to film this because it's that bad. Yeah. But, but yeah, I was really impressed with how, uh, I mean, impressed with how good this one actually looked. Now it's not all roses. I mean, you no, know, that Starfield perfect. test that you had kind of wrecked, it didn't wreck it. Like it didn't crush the, like the, the algorithm wasn't like going nuts, but basically you couldn't see any stars in that. You, you, know, see anything. you yeah, could was, see all the stars over here, but you know, for most QLEDs, it's pretty tough, but yeah. that was pretty bad. That was pretty tough. Yeah, I was, <laughs> the, the dimness comparison, yeah. that was a big difference. And then we, we also saw a lot of reflections too. So it's like, you know, Jolster said, reflections on top of very like dim lit stars, because they're only like a few pixels big, mm -hmm. you know, then you got, the, uh, you know, got the, the dimming zones trying to tamp down some of that. It's tough to see. Yeah, you know, I don't think any TV is perfect. I mean, nope. but overall, just finding something that, that works for you overall is really what's important. This is 4K 62. The 4K 60? Yeah, but it does, I mean, it doesn't look noticeably faster on the TCL. Like, no, it looks like it's reacting a little quicker on the left. Like you see it like move, like just a slight bit. Normally you yeah. see some pretty significant difference. So I would have to say just like right off the bat, like the input lag is probably not like significantly faster than the OLED. Um, than this one. If this was like a, you know, a Samsung or a, this was an LG C2 over here, mm -hmm. it would be way quicker, I think, you know. Yeah. It feels, honestly, the gameplay feels very smooth on both. I don't see any difference. I don't notice any difference in gameplay, but it's just like the bigger screen is just, I, I like the immersive experience. Well, what about this? Could you get used to playing video games on a oh, 98 yeah. inch? Yeah, yeah. I'm so used to playing, like I've been playing on a projector, so I'm really used to playing on a big screen. But the thing is like, well, here on TVs are a little bit different because the response time and the input lag is much better than projectors. And also TVs, they have other features like 4K, 120 Hertz, VRR, which is something that you don't see on projectors, yeah. you see? Yeah. But games like this is fine. Games like multiplayer games, like Call of Duty on projectors, it's terrible. I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just like, it's not, it's not the same as a TV. But the experience of Right now in this game, flying around the build between the buildings is just so immersive. It's so cool on a big screen. That is something that I love about big screens and yeah. projectors. So I there would you recommend. Go. There you go, TCL. Get one of these for Jolster. <laughs> 98 <laughs> inch. We need to get them on the cool. list. Okay, so checked it out. It's pretty cool. I mean, $8,000 for a 98 inch TV. I mean, I hope the price comes down. I think it probably should a bit. But you know, no TV is perfect, but what, do you, what did you think, Steve? Tech Steve. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I love the brightness of it. The audio has some room for improvements because it seemed a little bit teeny, but I will tell you overall, the details I was getting on this uh, TV when we was doing the gaming with Jolster, as well as some of the, uh, was it D Disney Plus he was playing through it? Yeah, the HDR, some of that, the movies and whatnot. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, it did have room for improvement with viewing angles, mm -hmm. but that's all VA panels in general. Yeah. But I think for the price and the performance, I think it's a really good buy. Yeah, I think, I mean, it, absolutely. it's definitely big, man. I mean, that's, it's got that going for it for sure. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Joel, It's heavy. Yeah, it's not light. It's not light. It needs a couple of strong people to lift it. Yeah, so I, I actually love it. I love it. As soon as I came in, like the first thing, like, whoa, it's like a, <laughs> it's huge. If you're going to have friends coming over, they're going to see like, whoa, man, this thing is huge. And yeah, that's what she said. But, uh, <laughs> and that's what she said. but I actually, I, I like the picture. I mean, obviously compared to an OLED, OLED, they just stand out the contrast in black levels. But if you're sitting in front of this TV, there are some scenes that I noticed that, that to me look better than OLED when it comes down to colors. But, um, yeah, man, I like it. Gaming feels really yeah. good, mm -hmm. responsive and the experience on gaming on a, such a big screen. It's really nice. Uh, price, I think, like you said, I think uh, $8,000 is a little high. 
high for a TV and hopefully it drops down the price. But um, yeah, man, I mean, if you have the space, if you have the, like you have the space right here, this, yeah, is, I mean, this if, is awesome. If it's over like 10 feet or maybe 15 feet, it start, you know, like I feel like that might be the threshold. Okay, maybe I would go with that now. Right, yeah. if you, you're eight feet away, you know, this is a pretty sweet TV. Yeah. yeah. But if you're you know, 12, 15 feet away, bigger room, bigger wall space. Yeah. It's a great option. Absolutely. Cool. Well, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. It's good to see you. Make sure you check out Tech Steve's channel and Jolster 4K as well. Thanks for having me. All right, Thank guys. Me. Yeah, thanks a lot it. for coming. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that. Check for the links in the description for these guys' channels. And just like that, you can be the installer. Peace.